I have spent over $125,000 on online courses in the past three years and here are my five biggest takeaways so you don't have to spend all that money. Number one, most courses aren't good but the few ones that are good can really change your life. So let me tell you a quick story on why this is important. Most people think that either all courses are scams, which is not true, and there are other people that think that a course can change your life without you doing anything. So let's dive into it. First of all, when you buy courses, if you learn and if, if it's from someone that has actually been successful in the field that they are teaching you, I do believe that you can still get a lot of value from it. But what most people get wrong is they think that one course can give you all the answers to all your questions for the next years or for the rest of your life, which is not true. So let's say if you want to start an online business and you want to make money. If you buy a course on how to do copywriting and then you learn copywriting, can you be successful? No, because just copywriting is not going to help you. Okay, let's say you buy another course and it's on sales and you improve your sales abilities. Are you now going to become a millionaire overnight? Of course not, because you have to have a product. You need to have a good product that people refer their friends to, right? You need to have marketing, you need to have traffic, way that people find out about you. Because let's say you are the best salesman in the world, but if no one talks to you, you don't have traffic, you don't have leads, you are not going to make money. Or let's say you are buying a course on social media growth, right? And you are learning how to grow on YouTube. And on that course, they tell you the importance of storytelling. Cool. Now, if you start telling amazing stories in your videos, are you going to go viral on YouTube overnight? Of course not, because you need to have good titles, good thumbnails. You need to have your own style. You need to be authentic. And that takes time and experience and trial and error for you to figure out what works best for you. Now, if we look at it that way, did all these courses help us to become successful overnight? Of course not. Or did any one of these courses help us to make the biggest breakthrough? No. And the reason is that there can't be one course that will give you all the answers to your questions because all advice is contextual, which means every person has its own unique situation. You have certain amount of time. You are from certain amount of country. Everyone has their own different skill set and background and genes and things that they are better at naturally than other people. So that's why one course cannot give you all all the answers to your questions. So that's the first thing I've learned. And I actually started looking at courses in a completely different way. Because back then when I was spending thousands of dollars on a course and it wasn't giving me all the answers to the questions, I thought that it was a bad course. When I switched my mindset, I understood that that course just gives me a part of the knowledge. And then I need to learn from other programs, from books, from my experience, and then I can put together all the pieces of the puzzle. And that's when I can have the biggest breakthrough. So for example, if you learned marketing and then you learned sales and then you need traffic and then you learn product you keep learning all these things right that's when you have all of them and you have that unique combination that's usually when the exponential growth happens and this principle is something that most people don't understand because they think that they've bought five courses and they took action and they implemented it and they got some good results then they bought the new course and that course helped them to have the breakthrough they think that that last course was amazing and it did all the work but actually in reality all of the previous courses probably gave you the context gave you the ability to understand gave you the other skill sets and you were just missing one part that that new course gave you and as once you had it all that's when the breakthrough happened so don't think that if you buy just one course you will be set for the rest of your life you need to keep learning from free resources from courses from books from your own actions from your own failures and that's when you can put everything together and that's when real success happens and this brings me to the second takeaway that i had after spending all of this money on courses which is you need to identify what is your bottleneck so if you right now have an amazing product and you are very good at sales but people don't know about your stuff that means that you are not good at generating traffic so that is probably your bottleneck so instead of buying new courses or how you can get even better at sales you need to identify what's your bottleneck and what is holding you back so you can learn and acquire that skill that will help you to grow your business so the second tip that i have for you identify what is the bottleneck what's the biggest thing right now that you are struggling in your life identify that and then go and learn Learn about that so you can solve that and then you can go to the next level and then identify the next bottleneck on the next level. The third important thing that I have learned after buying like 20, 30 courses or something and some of them were literally tens of thousands of dollars, I've learned that the most value that you get from them are actually the connections and the access that you get to the people. It's not just the information or the classroom or the courses that they teach you, but it's actually the relationship that you develop with these successful people. And they can make just one introduction or they can just know someone that knows someone that they will introduce to you and that 
as you can actually have real breakthroughs in your business. For example, when I bought one course in the beginning of my journey for tens of thousands of dollars and at the time it was all the money I had, the biggest thing I got was the relationship with my mentor. I even flew to Dubai and I met him in real life and we had a dinner and it actually helped me see reality in a different way. Because I can see how these people operate, how their day to day looks like and that is sometimes even more valuable than just the information that you get. And when you develop good relationship with these people, that's when you make your network stronger. And when you get access to these people, to your mentors, to the courses, if you genuinely care about them as well and you show that you are implementing what they are teaching and you put in the work and you see how you can be useful for them as well, I guarantee just one person can change your whole life because they can give you an opportunity, they can tell you some insider information that most of the market doesn't know and that's how you actually make the most money. And I'm sure you have heard that there are some people that can make a call and make millions of dollars and it's all because their network. And that was my third takeaway that the most important thing in courses from my experience are the genuine relationships that you develop with the people that you admire. And the fourth biggest takeaway that I had is that it's although very important to be very careful which courses you are buying and you need to of course understand that not every course is good but once you buy them even if the course is good you need to understand that if you want to maximize your chances of success you must take responsibility for everything that's happening. Yes of course a course might be bad it might miss some information but what is going to change? Is blaming that person going to make a difference? Of course not. So you need to take responsibility for the parts that are good and take action. Because what I have noticed in me and all other people that I know from my personal network that are successful is they take radical responsibility for what's happening in their life. So for example, people go to colleges and to universities, they study for four years, they pay hundreds of thousands of dollars there, and then at the end of it, they don't have anything that they can actually implement. And there are some other people that go and graduate universities and go and work billion dollar companies as CEOs etc. So what's the difference? It was the same university, same course, but what was different is the person. Because you can go through the same course, but if you think that they are responsible for helping you to do everything, you are not going to be successful. You need to identify the pieces of the puzzle that are missing and you need to go out there, fail, try it on your own and bring it together yourself. And a good example of this, if you took Spanish classes in class and after some years you can't speak Spanish fluently, does that mean that Spanish is a scam? Of course not, because most people can get access to the same information, but other people are more serious about it, they take more responsibility and they are more successful. And another key difference here is the expectations. Most people are okay that they can study for years, let's say Spanish, and they are not fluent at it, but when they buy a course, they expect to become a millionaire in a couple of months. But that's not how it works. You need to take responsibility, you need to have realistic expectations, and you need to take action to succeed. And also, I do 100% agree that a lot of course sellers are just over promising and setting very high unrealistic expectations which definitely is not a good thing but at the end of the day it is not under your control so what can you do to improve your life the best is just take responsibility implement the stuff and figure out the missing part yourself because no course is going to answer all of your questions forever but if you stay open-minded and take responsibility these programs and this knowledge and these relationships can help you achieve your goals way faster than you would do on your own and the takeaway number five that I had which is in my opinion the most important one is the importance of implementation. So when you buy one course, until you implement it, literally everything from that course in real life, do not buy another course. That's a mistake that I've made so many times. I've bought a course about how to grow on YouTube or I've bought a course on how to scale my business and then without implementing all the stuff from there, I kept buying another course, another course, thinking there's just one magic pill that will make me successful overnight. But that is not how it works. When you purchase a program and you trust the person that is helping you. Just learn from them, identify the bottlenecks and go all in into implementations and learn from your own trial and error. And after you have done it and you have another bottleneck, that's when you can go and read books or watch free videos or join very good paid communities where you can learn from other people that can help you get to another level. But before you implement, do not keep learning. The people that are the most successful are the people that continuously learn, but also implement what they are learning on a daily basis. And that's how you can actually become successful. So that was my five biggest takeaways that I had. I'm curious to know your experience in buying programs and what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments and if you want to know my story on how I turned four dollars into five hundred thousand dollars online at the age of 21, you can go here and check the next video and I will see you there. Thank you.